Working Principle of Priority Valve The priority valve is installed in the steering hydraulic system and working hydraulic system of the loader. Its functions are related to two systems of the loader. The main function of the priority valve is to transfer the hydraulic oil provided by the steering pump to the steering gear first, and then to the steering cylinder, achieving the steering ability of the loader, simultaneously ensuring that the steering system operates within the set pressure. Secondly, during the operation of the steering system, the hydraulic oil of the steering system can be provided to the working system through the priority valve ensuring the highest flow rate of hydraulic oil required by the system. There are many hydraulic oil ports in the priority valve. In order to facilitate identification, we use five sets of letters to name each oil port of the priority valve separately. The oil port connecting the steering oil pump is P port, which is the inlet port of the priority valve. Connected to the oil return line is the T port. Connected to the oil port of the working hydraulic system is the EF port. Connected to the steering gear oil inlet is the CF port. The oil port connected from the side oil port of the steering gear is the LS port. The structural composition of priority valve includes components such as valve body, main valve core, spring, safety valve, etc. After the loader starts, it can be seen from the priority valve structure diagram that Hydraulic oil output from the steering oil pump instantly enters the steering gear from the CF port through the P port. Due to not turning the steering wheel, the oil circuit of the steering gear did not open. The pressure of hydraulic oil between the P oil port and the steering gear increased, forcing the main valve core to overcome spring tension and move towards the safety valve direction. As a result, the CF oil port closed, the EF oil port opened, and the hydraulic oil from the steering pump entered the working hydraulic system. At this point, if the operating arm makes a movement, it forms a combined flow with the hydraulic oil output from the working oil pump. The two streams of oil ensure the highest flow rate required by the working hydraulic system, which is called dual pump combined flow. When the steering wheel is turned, Pressure oil remaining between priority valve and steering gear. It enters the priority valve through the LS port of the priority valve, and the combined force generated by the rebound force of the spring pushes the main valve core to move to the other side. At this time, the EF port is closed. The hydraulic oil from the steering pump enters the steering gear through the CF port, and the steering cylinder is connected to enable the loader to realize the steering function. When the loader turns to one side to the limit, the pressure in the steering oil circuit rises to the calibrated maximum pressure value. And the safety valve in the priority valve opens to release pressure from the T-port. When the steering wheel no longer rotates, the main spool moves in the reverse direction. And the steering pump supplies oil to the working hydraulic system through the priority valve.